Last time we managed to save Dr. Emmerich from the cyborg we now recognize as Grey Fox. Unfortunately, it seems like we told him more about Metal Gear than he told us. However, we do know where Metal Gear is located now, but at the moment that's not our goal. Because as we left off, Meryl seems to have gotten a little run-in with the guards, and Snake doesn't seem too concerned about it, but we might as well check in, because we'd like to bring her along for this whole destroy Metal Gear thing, so we're gonna do that first. There are a few things that I'd like to do in the gas room, nothing too important, because as I said before, the important item in here is locked under a pretty high numbered door, I believe it's six. Well, pretty much has to be six, but regardless, uh, as I said before, left side, probably the side you want to take if you want to avoid these cameras easily. You don't necessarily have to press yourself up against these, you just have to be nearby, because you're pretty much always under these cameras' blind spots as long as you're right next to these shelves or whatever they are. Whereas if you're on the right side, then you pretty much have to stick yourself to the wall, because otherwise the cameras will see you because they don't really move around at all. And here is one of the only important items we can get at the moment. And even then, it's not that good. The night vision goggles, it, it should be obvious what those do. And honestly, there's only one segment in the game where they're really useful, and it's coming up pretty soon. But outside that, it's not that useful because you can only equip one at a, item at a time. So that, that does kind of remove some of its usefulness. But we'll be getting into that later. Oh, apparently there is one more door, actually. I forgot about this. Eh, it's just a couple stun grenades, though. Nothing too important. Well, to be fair, stun grenades, grenades actually are pretty important, but again, it's one of those things where it's pretty much only useful one time unless you get into a lot of run-ins with the guards. But I'm not, so that doesn't matter too much. Uh, anyway, might as well just show off the night vision goggles. Uh, this is what it looks like. Not as painful as the thermal goggles, but I'd still prefer not to have these on. So, of course, I'm fairly certain that Meryl will be on Basement 1 rather than the first floor because, of course, there's the whole danger of toxins leaking out on the first floor. So, why go to a place where you couldn't use your guns? Hmm, that's weird. The music here changed. I wonder why that is. Anyway, let's go ask our old friend a few questions. Uh, hey, Ping Man, uh... Meryl's my friend, and she's a girl, but, um, keep an eye out for her, will ya? If she comes in here for some reason or another, uh, please just tell me. Th thanks, being man. Well, uh, that's out of the way. We can just, uh, come in here and grab a cardboard box, which is pretty much the most important thing we're going to do all episode. Really, in our lives, and to be a completely fair, I mean... The terrorists can nuke the hell out of the world, but if we miss a box, there's gonna be hell to pay. I don't think there's really all that many important items outside of that. I think you can actually pick up some medicine on this floor. Uh, again, the snake can get a cold, but it's kinda rare and you kinda have to linger outside. Uh, but the medicine will cure that if it so happens. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's any uh, anything we need from this floor. Now, what you're supposed to do is observe the guards and see which one has a different animation, because of course Meryl moves her butt differently. Uh, which can be kind of difficult, because there can be three guards at a time. Like, let's watch this guy. Er, he left. Oh wait, I think this guy's leaving. They do all leave to go to the bathroom from time to time, so yeah. As you can see, this guy, out here, he moves his butt like that. That's not the guy we're looking for. In actuality, though, it's actually pretty easy to find Meryl because she's the same guard every time. She spawns in the same places, so if you're quick, you can just go right up to her. Also, what are you doing here? Once she catches you, she's actually going to rush to the bathroom, so let's just follow her in here. Oh, uh, before we do that, though, I should call Mei Ling and uh, see what's up. Hey, Mei Ling, save my game. Snake, that's a lady's bathroom. Well, yeah, I'm saving just that. in case. Some Meryl come in here. Exactly. So you went in after her? Are you some kind of pervert? No! I won't let you save your mission now. Mei Ling, no! Listen, Mei Ling, this is the only place on the base that I can exactly. talk to Meryl alone. You've, Whatever, you've... weirdo. Don't call me again. Well, okay then. I, I guess Mei Ling doesn't like me anymore. I'm kind of sad. Campbell, how do I deal with this? Colonel, I saw your niece, but... Really? Where? She went in the ladies' bathroom. I'm so flustered. I saw her go in, but now she's nowhere to be found. You'll just have to look in the stalls, I guess. 
That's rude. I guess you're right. I'll take him in order. Master, help. I don't know what to do in here. Meryl must be hiding somewhere in there. Search around. Thanks, Master. Helpful advice. Well, anyway, she's at the back stall. She's always at the back stall. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary Solid Snake. By the way, if you get in here like seconds after Your she does, not not even that many seconds really, wall. she's not going to be wearing any pants, hey, which now I kind of feel no rude about this whole thing because, this I mean, no it didn't give her enough time to change. I mean, I thought we were just racing to the bathroom for fun, you know, but I just kind of feel like a jerk. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. She's so happy She's about so not being the love interest, and I can understand her enthusiasm, but I don't think she understands soldier. the way these plots so work. Be a lot of course, off. then That's again, if she'd seen Metal Gear Solid Four, uh, <laughs> <for myself. laughs> yeah, things get the weirder there. The uniform smelled like blood. Wow, why is that? Guy just blood oh. everywhere. Oh, this? Wait, it's a Johnny's thing. uniform it's smelled like blood? I was a fan of Foxhound way back. And guys like you and my uncle were in it. When it was cool. Not that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. And, and I should know. Other. I know all the See, heroes. You're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. You haven't There's really no killed that many people, Snake. Mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right. And you fight for the people. Nuh-uh. I fight for, fight for myself. myself. I've got no Because this is life, fun. No ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? Pretty much, you yeah. You don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? Well, Mei Ling kind of hates me now, so... Not really. So, there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah. You've got a great butt. They call me oh, Subtle I Snake. I slither up to women butt. and then compliment them on their butts. The battlefield, you never think about what's next. You just think about butts. Always butts. I never stop thinking about butts. So Snake, how are the negotiations going? Uh. No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or- Punch it! We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I'm gonna guess no idea, one's in the Ice somewhere. World and one's in the if Fire World. Them, we'll I'm no guessing there's another one, but it's been stolen Gear. by the bad Metal guys. In an underground maintenance but you won't discover north. that until Take you get to the through. end of the world. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot That me. doesn't seem like a good I idea. Don't like to waste bullets. Got it. You know, your uncle is in I'll charge of this, careful. well, not in charge, but uh, he's kind of my superior, and I probably you know, shouldn't I shoot you because uh, he, he would never speak I to me there. again. I look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. I'm gonna kill people! But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? What? That's a terrible thing to say after she I said her father was killed. I could understand him better. You want to follow so him in his footsteps of being dead. I thought I was until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not going to lie to myself anymore. Wow, it's time got over that character arc pretty quickly. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know. Let me just explain what I have learned. Now. I Off screen. Know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. Also, this because most mirrors like in this game don't actually reflect anything. This is PS1 graphics and all. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Coincidentally, that's also a spinning box. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. 
There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh. So I got a leftover, huh? I hate you, SOCOM pistol! Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. And I'll, I'll Listen, take your gun. I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. Damn it! I was hoping I could scan that gun off of you. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. I could probably just pick them up and move them out the of the way. The commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Like the cells? Those are fairly important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. Well, all right then. Just don't run into any guards. Uh, guards? That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? Snake, you're not supposed to I'll hear keep that. A lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Oh, they're right. There are no guards. It is disturbingly quiet at the moment, but at the same time, I can have this. Thank you for not guarding this. Basically, anyone who could be guarding it. It's a very broad statement. It could it could apply to a lot of people. Just covering my bases here. Oh, the music's back, but something's definitely off here. You uh, gonna do anything? Hmm? My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Should I have picked up that medicine? Don't come here, Snake. That's freaky. Are you okay? Uh, uh, what happened? Are you dead? I can't tell. Did your heart explode? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Well, this isn't suspect at all. Let's not question any of this. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Speaking like she's talking through a gas mask at... Huh? If you go into first person mode, this happens. Just admire my own beauty. Also, I swear you could look through Snake's head, but that wasn't happening. You can, you can get a close-up, but apparently you can't look through his head. I thought you could, but... Oh, well. Well, certainly nothing to suspect here. We look through her eyes when you go through the first person... She's acting all weird, door locked. Certainly nothing's going on right now. Snake. How oh, do you like me? Uh. Do you like me? Do I have to check a box for this, sir, or what? What's wrong? into being held up. Or that floating man. Uh, what is it, Colonel? Snake, Meryl's not her You don't say. Don't use your weapon. It's Psycho Mantis. He's controlling Meryl. That tune is his mind control music. Don't use your weapon. Try to knock her out. But my fists are like guns. What am I supposed to do? Okay, yeah, just punch her a whole bunch. And she goes down. And she comes back up. And we punch her again. This is kind of one-sided. Floating man, you're kind of a dick. And she's still going. Don't worry, can't really kill her like this. She'll be knocked out eventually. Useless woman. Optic camouflage, huh? I hope that's not your only trick. My power. Solid Snake doesn't even give a fuck. Now, I will show you why I am the most powerful practitioner of psychokinesis and telepathy in the world. Because there are lots of those, you know. There's no need for words, Snake. I'm Psychomantis. Voiced by Doug Stone. Right. This is no trick. It's true power. Look at me, I'm floating. No strings. It's useless, I told you. 
What am I thinking about? No, Wrong, I'm thinking about butts. No, perhaps I should say your past. <laughs> like you could. You are a very methodical man. Oh, thank you. Always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior. Oh, you're making me blush. That's very nice of you to say. You are extremely careful of trash. I am. You are either very cautious, or you are a coward. What does being a coward have to do with not wanting to fall to my I death? Don't believe me. No, I don't. Now I'll read more deeply. You just watch me a lot. That's weird, not psychic. Hmm. Your memory is completely clean. <gasps> How does he know that I have amnesia? I turned to my side like there was a camera there or something. I mean, I didn't do that. Nuh uh. You still don't believe me? Yep. I will show you my psychokinetic power. Mm hmm, sure. Put your controller on the floor. Okay, alright. Put it down as flat as you can. That's good. Mm hmm. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. Good luck there, buddy. Ah! Oh my god, how's he doing that? This is post commentary! You can't, you can't do that! Oh my god, he is psychic! Actually, I don't think that has anything to do with being psychic. But he still can do a thing! It's an unusual thing. Did you really pose like that? Seriously, dude, just... Okay, what's going on here? Okay, what, where, the, where the fuck did he go? Oh! Where'd that attack come from? What the heck? Come on, really? That's cheap. That's bullshit. What? What the fuck? I was pressing the shoot button. What is this? What the fuck, man? Okay, what? Where the fuck is he? Okay, there he is. What? He can dodge my fucking bullets. Yeah, that that that's great. He can just fucking dodge my damn bullets. Whatever, dude. Oh, now my fucking gun's out of ammo. Oh, and Snake gets hit in the head with a chair. Oh, I'm Solid Snake. Look at me. I'm so fantastic. I'm so fantastic. Oh, and I get hit by a chair because I'm dumb. Whatever, dude. Seriously, what? What the fuck? Why can I not hit this? Oh, yeah, like I could dodge that. What is this shit? Come on, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, that hit me totally. Uh huh. Yeah, check your fucking hitboxes. That was total bullshit. Seriously, you. What the fuck is this? This should not be hitting me. Come on, what? Why the fuck can I not hit him? I'm. I am definitely hitting him right now. What is this shit? Oh, yeah, the thing on the wall hit me. Yeah, great. Uh-huh, sure. What the- What is this shit? I- What's going on? Why can I not go into first person? What the hell, dude? Okay, I got a fucking shot on him. Take that, fucker. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, now he's dodging again. Yeah, that's fucking great. Seriously, what- And yeah, that's all you really need to do to be able to hit him. It's basically impossible otherwise, but if you just do that thing, then you're a-okay. Now you still have to watch out, because his attacks aren't too fast, but they can be a bit unexpected. Be aware of his little projectile thingamajig, whatever the heck that is, and uh, when he does stuff like the thing I thought he was going to, come on. Do the thing, do the th uh, there we go, okay, so, attacks like this you can... You can run right into them like a moron, uh, but you can actually crouch under them, and that's probably the best thing. And oh, of course, you can uh, see him out of, or you see yourself out of first person because you see out of his eyes for some reason. Because that's just weird, freaking weird. He's not really too bad though. He doesn't have that many tricks outside of oh man, I'm gonna fling stuff at you. But given he can fling basically anything in the room that's not nailed down or relatively heavy. It, it can be a bit unexpected, and things can fly at you from, you know, off the screen and all. Just be aware of your surroundings at all times, and it's not too bad. He does take a bit to kill, though, so, uh, do be careful of that. Just be patient. Use bullets wisely, or punch. Punching is also very useful. Punching is a useful way to kill people, in general, if I'm gonna be completely honest here. Honestly, because of, uh, you know, the, the uh, whole uh, hitbox thing, or not hitbox, what am I talking about? It's clearly...
Okay, what? Where is he now? What is this shit? Come on, where the fuck are you? This is dumb. Seriously, where the fuck did he go? Did he just... Oh, there he is. Thought he fucking left the room for a fucking second. God, what... <sighs> this fucker just holds still already? Seriously, I can't hit him, so why is he moving around so... Oh, yeah, and he hits me. What is this bullshit? I had three fucking rations at the start of this. Now I have one. What the hell? Oh, now he's doing his stupid chair shit. Okay, I can dodge this. I'm just gotta be over here. What the fuck? That still hit me. What is this shit? Fucking broken piece of shit game. Honestly. Did I hit him? No, I didn't fucking hit him. God, this fucking boss is shit. And I missed him again. Fucking lovely. Oh, now the statues are flying on. Hey, you missed, you fucker. Seriously, why the fuck can I not catch up with you? This is... Come on, I punched him right in the face. What is this shit? Come on, this is bollocks. What? <sighs> Seriously, game, what the hell? You can actually make the character psychic, but you can't actually, you know, you can't make a good boss. Great priorities there, Kojima. Seriously, why the fuck can I not hit this guy? Seriously, he keeps floating away. Come on, fucking get back here, you fucking stupid pansy. Come on. Oh, and I've got... Yeah, great, I could, could totally dodge that game, you piece of shit. Ugh, what is this shit? Oh, now he's fucking flinging everything at me. That's just great. Managed to dodge that at least. Oh, now he's disappeared again. Whatever, dude. Seriously, where the hell did he go? He's over there? Where is he? I don't fucking know what this is. What is going on? Oh, there he is. Ha, you missed, you dumbass. I can't even see him half the time. What is this shit? I've hit him like two times. What the fuck? I could not have seen that coming. Fucking broken game. What is this shit? <sighs> what the? F He's doing the chair shit again. God fucking damn it. Okay, how the fuck do I do this? Let's see, Meryl, Master. What? What are you? What are you? It's you true. Say? Your enemy is a powerful telepath. That doesn't help at all. You fuck you, Master. Experience. Yeah, just stop you talking already. Jesus, come on. If you're not gonna help, just stop talking. God. Let's see, Meryl, Deep Throat. <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to Deep Throat, Meryl. <laughs> Uh, of course, neither of them are helpful. Thanks, guys. Uh, what about what about this lady? A psychic soldier. Yes. Uh -huh, yeah, I, I don't care about this. Just tell me how to beat him already. What the hell? Come on, just fucking tell me how to beat this guy. Come on. I don't. I don't care about spoons. But Psychomantis is one of the most Just shut powerful. up. Just shut up already. Come on, I don't care about this. Just, how the hell do I beat this guy? This entire battle is just bullshit. God, broken piece of shit game. Uh -huh, I, I, I already fucking knew that. Come on. Let's get to the damn point already. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer. He got too far into the killer's mind. Yeah, that, that's dumb. As a result, this is a dumb plot like point. I don't care. So he was sort of infected by the serial murderer's thoughts? Whatever. Case, Come on, just get to the... Spy tell me how to beat him already. I just need to know how I'm supposed to hit this fucker. I've tried everything. I've tried my guns. I've tried my fists. That's all I got. What else am I supposed to use? What should I do? Exactly, even the game knows that I can't there fucking beat this fucker. No what is this shit? Master controlling people's sake. Don't let him manipulate you. Just tell me how to beat this fucker. Come on. Not everything you see with your two eyes is real. Destroying what does that even mean? Is more important than destroying his body. Don't let him read you. Be a blank I don't know how to do that. Clear your mind. Just tell me how to beat this guy. Come on. How the fuck am I supposed to do that? Come on, just what the hell am I supposed to do? I don't know. He's using his psychic ability to read your controller's moves. That's my controller's how movements. Back. You've got to do something so How the hell am I supposed to do that? Moves. The controller is all I have. It's all that keeps me warm and safe at night. It's all that I can hold in my hands. It's the only thing I can say that is my true friend. Without that, what am I?
Hey, Jennifer. Wanna see my scare cam LP? Yeah, it's really scary, and I'll scream just like that, because there's this really scary guy. His name is Slenderman, he's tall and thin, and that's why he's really... And you know, I gotta admit, I don't normally like the whole fourth wall break stuff. I mean, usually it's not used all that well because it's just like, Hey, we're in a video game, right guys? But here it's actually used creatively because it's a, it's a solution that you wouldn't necessarily think of, though. Admittedly, I did come into this game knowing that it existed because, of course, the first thing I knew about Metal Gear Solid is how great this boss was and how it's so neat that by putting your controller in port 2, you could actually do something. Like, that actually affected the game, and of course he's got all these other fancy tricks that, you know, he brings up the Hideo screen. That That's pretty neat. It's, it's all just a clever boss, and it is not the most obvious thing, I got to admit, to uh, change your controller around. It's maybe not the first thing you would expect, but still, when you do know it, it's, it's pretty great. It does suck that the game will outright tell you at some point, but hey, what are you going to do? It is it is a bit of a weird solution, and, you know, for people who can't figure out immediately, you know, you got to have the solution there, because otherwise it'd just be a bit too obtuse, and wow, I'm terrible at the moment. Also, I... yeah, I really love it when he just yells, WHY?! I, I, I do love that, because of course he's questioning why you are able to, you know, escape his weird psychic tricks. It's because I know how to change computer ports, or controller ports, rather. Why do you think this is actually going to be effective? I do believe he can attack you. Uh, oh, yep, he definitely can attack you. But honestly, using Meryl as a shield really isn't a good idea. I mean, he doesn't move around all that much. She doesn't fire all that much. And of course, as you saw before, I had already hit her, so she missed. You are powerful indeed. But I know your weak point. Meryl, stand right where he can see you and throw your brains out. Oh no, whatever am I going to do to stop this from happening? I'm going to punch her some more. Duh. No, it cannot be! No! I'm stuck in this painting! So yes, now the battle continues, but I do believe he actually disappears more than he usually does. Like, yeah, he just sort of appeared out of nowhere, and you can't actually see when he's moving. Which is why you bring in the thermal goggles, and you can actually see where he is at all times before he even appears. Of course, I do want to keep my rations equipped just in case he does hit me, because he attacks pretty quickly. I think he can still do his fling stuff around attack, but mostly for the time being, he's just going to use his uh, invisible projectile thingamajig. That thing that he does. Of course, you can't punch him, and I don't know why I don't just do that more. Which is why I'm going to do it now. Punching him does seem like a good idea. It's a good way to conserve ammo. He does linger a bit, so as long as you know about the whole thermal goggle thing, you can't hit him pretty easily. And yeah, he's going to throw basically everything in the room at the same time, but of course he can still crawl under everything to avoid it, so... Not the worst attack. It's easy enough to avoid. Of course, stuff's everywhere, so if you don't try ducking under it, well, you're probably gonna get hit. It's pretty likely under that situation. Come on. I, I'm just waiting for him to throw all his stuff just so I don't get hit by accident like I just did. Eh, that's what happens when you get too impatient. Ah well. Oh, wait, no. Ah well. There we go. <laughs> Fucker flew all the way across the room. Jeez. I didn't think I punted him that hard. Colonel. Your niece is going to be okay. For once, someone I punched didn't die. I owe you one. Thank now goodness her head beaten. didn't explode. Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yeah, probably. Yes. I don't know about this why shit. Why did you go so far out of your way to save her? It wasn't that but far, I just punched her a whole lot. Maybe it's because you like her. I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Jeez, snarky. Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. Even if she does have an attitude. So, you used the other... I used my keyboard, motherfucker. I, I wasn't able to read the future. 
a strong man doesn't need to read the future. He uses he an FAQ. <laughs> Perhaps so. But I will read your future. Haha! <laughs> Look at me go! To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base. Directions now in spooky vision. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. Whoa, it's a door. Whoa, it's blocked by frozen glaciers. Spooky. Go past the communication towers. There just so happens to be a model right there. Why are you telling me this? I can read. People's minds. Yeah, but you couldn't read my memory card, apparently. I had both Suikoden games on there, and I wanted you to mispronounce them, but no, apparently my memory card's completely blank. Jerk. Oh, gross. You're ugly. And shorts. ...was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. I don't Wasn't get why people have sex. Why would they do that? It's so selfish. Planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We designed that way. And that's why there is war. I totally get this stuff, man. But you... You are different. You just like killing. You're the same as us. We have no past. No future. We live in the moment. Seize the day. And someone's lungs. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. He was weird. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. So I killed him first. That showed him. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. I didn't write anything down, when and I, I forget a lot of stuff. The village was engulfed in flames. Whoops. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? Yes, exactly that. that you How do you know all my character trauma? points? <laughs> I'm Solid Snake. Well, I understand all snake. character backgrounds. No, is a more interesting place with people like you in it. What I'm saying is, would you date me, Snake? I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. I killed like two. You monster. Let him talk. He might be crazy, but he's also I dying. Left. I've seen through evil. Snake, you're just like the boss. No, you're worse. <laughs> Compared to you, I'm not so bad. I'm pretty cool, actually. I can read people's minds and everything. I wow, I, I could have gotten into well. so many good careers. I didn't have to be evil. I saw you there. Wow, man. Funny how much dying puts things in perspective. A large place. Yes, a large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I can only see to Metal Gear Solid 2 and... Question. Holy shit, what that ending! My mask. I don't think I want to read the future anymore. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts... Come on. Into my mind. Beg for it. I'm not gonna put the mask on until you say please. Come on, I say it, say it. Alone in my own world. I'll open the door for you. Then you must you get on the floor and... <coughs> the 
dinosaur. I moved a bookshelf. It's Yay! It feels kind of nice. Should have used my power to clean up parks. Why does he get this sad music? I don't like him. Well, his boss battle's oh, cool, Meryl. but I don't like him as a person. I'm sorry. I let Mantis control my mind like that. If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. I Just never doubt myself. Stronger. I Lord always know I'm right shooting people in the right. face. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Get mind controlled? Yeah, probably not. Snake, can I ask you something? No. What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. God, someone's being impatient so, today. tell me, Snake. What's your name? Snake. Your real name? I think it's also name Snake. Means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Uh. Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't know how to deal with emotions. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. You have my pity. Come on. Let's go. Well, that takes care of that. So that's the only time we're fighting Mantis because he's kind of dead. But with that resolved, uh, I guess we should uh, call Mei Ling, right? I mean this ration and uh, see if Mei Ling is ready to talk it out about the whole girls bathroom thing. The tongues of dying men enforce attention like deep harmony. Snake, people don't normally lie with their dying breath. I think he was telling the truth. Maybe you should believe him. Or maybe we're going to sweep it all under the rug. Okay, well, she might have forgotten, but um... She doesn't remember, so hooray, we're friends again! Now who am I gonna piss off next? Oh, but it's deep Please, throat. Nick, don't give up. Well, that's that, so uh Hey Meryl, uh wanna hang out in this one spot for a few days? I hope you do, because that's what we're going to be doing. <laughs>